All right, this time around the question comes from Facebook. My friend George asks, how do I get unstuck? And a couple of weeks ago, I did one about how do you stay motivated? And there's some overlap here, so I'd encourage you to go back and watch that. But the truth is, this is really different. And in fact, this one ought to come first. It's one thing to be on a path and want to keep moving forward, but in a way, it's a different thing entirely to want to overcome that initial inertia. Sometimes the, the distance between here and there, wherever there happens to be, can feel so great that it's hard to even know where to begin. Sometimes you feel like you're, you're meant for something greater, but you just don't, don't feel anything in common with that distant finish line. So how do you get unstuck? The first thing I'm going to say is look around. I mean, there are no accidents in this universe. And so it is absolutely the case that the events and the characters and the situations and the story of your life are there for a reason. Specifically, there's an educational opportunity. The people around you, the relationships you're in, the job you work, everything is there to either teach you something or to learn something from you. And the truth is once you seize that opportunity, things begin to change. So once again, look around. Look around with an eye for education. You may find that there's something going on that you can learn from. You may find that there's somebody in your life who needs to learn something from you. You owe them the honesty of who you really are, the truth of your experience. And it might be that if you seize that educational opportunity, things start to morph. The relationships start to change. You begin to move without even being aware that you got started. So pay attention to that. There's chances to learn and teach. And question everything. Find a way to challenge your assumptions. Find a way to do something different, anything. It can be something silly. Change your routine in the morning. Change where you get coffee. Change the way you drive to and from work. Turn off the TV, even if it's your favorite show on your favorite night of the week, and read a book or leave the house, go for a walk, do something, anything different. It doesn't matter what it is. The point is you're beginning to do muscle confusion with your heart and with your mind. And as you get better at just doing something different and remaining open to education along the way, you'll start to pick up some steam. But while we're on the subject of challenging your assumptions, pay attention to that goal, that finish line, that objective that, that you want so bad. And it might be that you need to challenge that one too. It might be that maybe you're being a little too specific about it. In a couple of weeks, I'm going to do one of these about how to tell if you're coming from your ego or your fear or you're really coming from some kind of greater calling. But for right now, I just want to say, make sure that it's coming from your heart instead of something like obligation or like I said, something like fear. Challenge your assumptions. And also, it might be that you can do the same thing in a different way. Maybe you want to go to every comedy club in the world and be a stand-up comic, but you don't know how to get started. Maybe it's not about being in front of a bunch of people that way. Maybe you need to get good at YouTube. Maybe you want a record contract, but you can't figure out how to talk to people. Maybe you need to go play out locally. Maybe there's a way you can satisfy the spirit of what you want, but the specifics can change. So be open and receptive to new ideas. After all, the universe always has a better idea. Right here and right now, there's something you can do differently. Right here and right now, there's something you can learn and something you can teach. Right here and right now, things are changing even if you don't realize it. Let go of that. Let go of the specifics of your goal and rather get to the thing behind the idea. How can you be faithful to the spirit of your desire? And all of a sudden, the desires of your spirit will get very, very real. All my best to you on your journey. Thanks for following me on mine. Thanks for sharing these videos. Thanks for subscribing to the, these videos. And thanks for sending your questions. Keep them coming. Talk to you soon.